This is a public service announcement. Check your fire alarms before they start beeping through the night. Like that. Waking the husband and causing him to be a grouch. He said? Yes. Mama. Out there for a while. Who's excited? Me. Me. <laughs> Don't mess up my lawn again. Oh dear. Um, Bill's Corona test came back negative. Oh Stay out this window. There we go. Negative. And the boys had the option of staying at home and doing online homeschooling or going in to see their friends. And they've decided. They're going to go in and you're going to look for your school shoes, aren't you, Ted? Yeah. And your boot bag and you're not going to rest until you find it. Yeah, go, otherwise someone will beat me up. Go, yes, I will. I'll try to at least. Go to the... I'll put you in a headlock. Okay. Um, I'll do a corona test on you. That'll, oh, no. That'll give you the willies. Um, will you please go to... Where is it? Where, where is it? Lost Property. It's in the sports hall, but you're not allowed in there to look. You'll have to ask one of the teachers to look. Oh, okay. Well. Remember what your boot bag looks like? <laughs> yeah, it's just black welly boot bag. Just a black boot bag. Black welly boot bag. That'll be all crumpled because it's got a tiny, teeny pair of shoes in it. I don't know what ribs. Well, the bottoms. Yeah. Only the bottoms. I've still got the smelly. That's the important smelly part. Top. They're your farm water boots. I know. Boots, Ted. It's very important that you find the this bag. to the library is quite an experience now <laughs> it used to be just walk in do your thing obviously like lots of places and now you have to queue up you have to get shot in the head <laughs> that's my dash cam <laughs> get shot in the head for your temperature then you've got to sanitise and then you've got to walk a certain way around the library and then you can deposit your books in the deposit thing and then somebody comes along and cleans the deposit thing and then you have to walk a certain way out. I feel like I've been on an adventure. I'm back home now and I'm very hungry. It's half past ten and I'm ready for coffee and some breakfast. I realised as I was driving along just now that this vlog is all in a bit of a muddle because there's been no explanation as to what's going on. We were gearing up ready for a day of homeschooling when Toby shouted down the stairs, Gainer, Bill's test result is negative. And we were all like, yay. And Bill came out of his bedroom going, but I'm still poorly, I can't go to school. <laughs> but I'm going to come downstairs now, <laughs> bless him. So um, I said to the other boys, look, we're we're all like geared up, ready for homeschooling today if you want to stay home. And they chose to go to school, which is brilliant. They were excited to see their friends. Um, both of them have got games today, so they wanted to do that. It was just really nice. We um, prematurely took them out of their last school complicated long story nothing to do with being unhappy with the last school far from it in fact we were devastated that we made the decision to move schools in a nutshell it's all to do with preempting a very difficult logistical year in a year's time when bill will be well probably 18 months time two years i'm confused <laughs> when bill will be leaving his beautiful school so we had to get them somewhere where it was going to be logistically manageable. And then it just made sense to move them in year four and year seven. I wasn't going to go into that, but I did. Oh, well, I'm only on two minutes of recording, so it's fine. So I dropped them off at the school today um, and they skipped in. That was great. 
then I went to the post office and dropped off some bits. Then I went to the library. And that was the clip you've seen before this heap of waffle. Now I'm going to go indoors to a quiet and peaceful house, which I was not expecting today. And I'm going to have my coffee and my breakfast and um, think about what I'm going to do today rather than having to hover about kind of in limbo, making sure that I'm on hand for Wilf, but not interfering. Um, trying to think of my chores that I've overlooked this week that I could just whiz through. But I'm kind of up to date. She's a gobby dash cam, that one. Um, I've got a whole heap of things all cluttering up the place that I need to sort out that need to go to a charity shop. Um, I need to find one that's accepting. Hmm. It's Friday. We're having burgers and chips for tea tonight, so I need to make the burgers and defrost the brioche buns from the freezer and chop up the chips. Yeah. Bit of a boring old fart, really, aren't I? That's how I like it, though. I am hoping that my uh, tripod comes today because uh, I've just wandered around trying to find somewhere to put my phone so that I could try on my headband that I finished yesterday. I think this is... <laughs> this is pretty good. It goes over my ears. I'm using my screen as a mirror. So I'm not looking at you, looking at me. What do you think? Then, if I were to put my hair up, let's just pretend I've got a hair bobble. Hang on. The good thing about having thin and wispy hair is that I can tie it into a knot like that, and it will stay. <laughs> I really like it. I think I do. I think that's good. I've got enough. I've got enough yarn left to try the calorimetry. I don't think I'm saying that right. Um, with a smaller needle, but Lily has shown me one of her brilliant hats which is so simple to do. And I think I might just have enough to squeak out one of those, um, maybe not with a turned up brim, and have a bobble hat as well. So I might give that a go. World's my oyster. I don't know why I said that then. Look at that burn. Burnt myself ironing the other day. Actually looks horrid, doesn't hurt at all. My cardigan, <laughs> it's bringing this all around again. My cardigan um, is by Hannah Fettig. It's called, oh, the coffee machine's turning itself off. Um, I think it's just the birdies cardigan it's from the knit bot yoked book and it was the first sort of intarsia thing i did one of the first garments i did and look i there are a lot of things that i didn't do very well like weaving in an end there on the arm in such a visible spot um weaving in ends here I think I possibly my tension was funny. Well, I know my tension was funny. I think I could have perhaps done with going up a size. 
maybe. It's fine when it's undone though, and it does fit, but. And I used a commercial yarn, looking at it. I think it was a double knit, let me see. It was double knit and it would have been Debbie Bliss or Rowan because I knitted this before I discovered indie dyed yarns and natural straight off the animal coloured yarns. I knitted this before my taste started changing when I was all about the pastels, the girly, pale, pale but brighter end of the spectrum pastels and now I love all of the natural earthy colours best. It's funny how taste change isn't it and these days everybody's tastes seem to change really quickly um, so I'm trying to make sure that I don't fall completely out of love with things that I haven't worn enough. I certainly haven't worn this enough seem to be recording my chest a little bit too much. I now look like I've got a headache bandage on. <laughs> anyway, I'll try to remember to link the cardigan pattern if anyone's interested and the headband, Bello. Well, look at me. I match the sky. Grey. <laughs> Not grey inside though. Happy. I'm happy that Bill's got the all clear. I'm just counting my blessings. That's not to say I'm not unhappy for beautiful people in my life having a really, really tough time now. I'm just grateful that uh... sorry about that she's just eating some grass and now she's gacking yeah, I'm just grateful for my lot in this world I got an email I got a message on one of my vlogs the other day saying, open your eyes this world's in a mess and you're complaining about trivial things. <sighs> Do try to keep this vlog light-hearted. And if I'm going to have a whinge, it will be something trivial. It won't be a big whinge. Because people have got a heaviness in their hearts. You guys don't come here to listen to any heaviness that I'm carrying around. Not that you wouldn't listen. You'd all be so supportive and lift me up. But... Equally, I do these vlogs for myself and for my memory banks and for my family's memory banks. I hope that microphone is not da 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 getting stuck. Don't know what I meant by da 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 da. Yeah, I, I, do, I do this for myself to reflect upon as well. And I don't want to look back at me having a misery, moody monk on about something. I will grizzle about the trivial. I will! But I won't grizzle about the big. I won't. <laughs> but I will grizzle about the fact that it was dry when I set off. And now it's ribbing raining. At least I got my waterproof cagoul on. I've had a couple of people asking me where I got this from. I googled light reflective rain coat. And this one came up and it was from Wish dot com I think and um, I looked at the reviews and they all look pretty good and the price point was good and I thought I'll take a punt on that but um, what I didn't do was check out the credentials of wish.com and whether they are um, one of the decent companies or a bad company 
still got my headband on. It keeps slipping forward. <laughs> and my hair's gone a bit mad. Um, I've been looking forward to this all week. Sauvignon Blanc. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Friday. I know this looks like a really big glass, but it's actually not. It's actually quite small by comparison. I wanted to talk to you, oh, this is no good and my tripod hasn't arrived and I'm not getting the big one out. I wanted to talk dishwasher tablets with you because this is something that I've struggled to find an eco version of that wasn't extremely expensive or difficult to get hold of or still wrapped in a little plastic wrapper. I was using Ecova, but they come in a little plastic wrapper. So I ordered a trial sample of these. You just, just pay for the postage. And um, this was interesting. Look, it comes with a child lock. I couldn't get this open without doing what they tell you to do. So I did what it told me to do. But look, revolutionary small box, yippee, to plastic free. And when you open it, how gorgeous. My friend Turnip, uh, Bill's godmother, put me onto these. She keeps them in a kilner jar on her worktop. <laughs> they look so nice. I thought they were coconut ice, which reminds me of my granddad. He once ate a fire lighter, think, well, put it in his mouth, took a bite of it, thinking it was um, coconut ice, but my nan had been shopping and got wet. So she'd laid them out on a towel and granddad thought it was um, coconut ice. So I've just popped one in the dishwasher and it's washing now on a short cycle to test it. Now I'm going to read this and it's going to say don't use it on a short cycle. Um, select program, no, so that's good. Brilliant. So the good thing about this is that it's cruelty free, vegan, plastic free, regular delivery. Um, you save 50% per wash. It's got a high performance and lower chemical concentration because here's the thing, finding eco ones that are effective is really difficult and finding eco ones that are affordable for the masses, I don't know why I said that, affordable for the masses, but like I'm wiping my ass on five pound notes, is it? <laughs> there you go, Rachel, pop that one in for you. She giggled when I said that once a couple of weeks ago. So there, there we go. I will report back on my findings. There's a whole highlight on my Instagram for um, reducing plastic ideas. And uh, I think on there <laughs> was the um, me having a bit having a bit of a rant, probably. Probably I can get very angry sometimes <laughs> about rubbish, plastic-free dishwashing powder. And now for a sip of my wine. Oh, I can hear angels singing and harps playing. Ugh. Just kidding. Oh, it's gorgeous. Hmm. It is a bit early for a glass of wine, I grant you that, because it's half past four. <laughs> but I'm having this one now, and I'll have another one a bit later. And then another and another until it's all gone. <laughs> I'll try not to do that. I am on my way out to the paddock, because Frank has arrived. I'm just, whoops, making her a coffee. Ba, 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 because she's just back from work and is in need. And um, I'm leaving my headband on so I can show her, but I'm going to put on my simple beret 
from Hannah Fettig. Somebody asked me about this. I saw it flash up on my locked screen and then I couldn't find the message to answer it. So it's the simple beret, if it was you who asked. It's on Ravelry. I think it might be on Hannah's personal website as well. So Hannah Fettig, who is Knitbot, who um, the pattern for my cardigan, same person, so she's good, isn't she? I've got two of these. One of them I knitted in finger ring weight. <laughs> finger wing. <laughs> you can tell I've had a glass of wine. And this one is knitted in double knit. West Yorkshire spinners. Oh, I can't remember the details. It's a it's a double knit West Yorkshire spinners undyed colourway, which I absolutely love. I'd like a jumper knitted out of this. It's so sheepy. I love it. Uh, so I'm going to wear my headband till I get out there and then I'm going to put my berry on. I might even put my berry on over the top of my headband because I don't need to impress anybody in this planet. And Franca does not need to be impressed by me because she's already bowled over. Who wouldn't be? <laughs> I'm bringing out a coffee. Hey. That makes me a bold over, bowling over kind of person. That right, Toby? What's that my game? My game? My gainer. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know what you asked. What why. do we look like? Why? Look at the state of us. Grey in our grey kitchen. Anyone would think that we were right boring farts. You're not, because look, four o'clock in the afternoon and you're on the wine. It's not, it's gone five now. I'm on my oh, second yeah. glass. <laughs> are those, they're not the best burgers, are they? No. Look. I haven't finished. I was hoping you'd come and clear up after me. Yeah. Wow, what is that? That's a beast. Blimey. That was opportune. I just got out my phone to record. Feel the weight of it, can't you? You can feel the weight. Franca just said you can feel the weight of it. Not that you can hear because she's over there. And that was loud. Got my little rubber duck. Because no matter how long you hold a rubber duck down, it will always bounce up. That's a good motto for life. We've got Dido over there with the waggly tail. We've got Gaynor with her second glass of wine half finished already and put down. Franca doesn't want to be filmed, so there's her coffee and her pinky. <laughs> but earlier on we were bemoaning the fact that it's pilled it down all week and that we were over it. So I did a um I did a deal with the devil. <laughs> and <laughs> ordered better weather. I'll be paying for this for a lifetime. <laughs> My new tripod has arrived and honestly I'm delighted at the moment that I lost the old one because this one looks so much better. I don't know what accent that was but it was not my own. <laughs> wow this is incredible. I've just been in the paddock with Franca, as you would have seen, and um, <laughs> she was sending videos to her family who live way up north, so I did a cartwheel, and I haven't done a cartwheel, have I, since I was 40, and Kate recorded me. I don't remember. So I've just gone back on my Instagram, I'm just going to flip you around because he's not entertaining you us. You're not in. No. Are you doing? I said I'm just going to flip you round. Yeah. That is not the same as just flip go over. there. I'm cooking, Gaina. I've got to concentrate. Okay. I love your skills. My skills? Mad skills. What, cooking? Yeah. I've lost track of where I was. But, um, 
I've got a lovely video on Instagram. Well, video is not lovely, but the last little bit, you can hear Kate going, ah! We need some from, I'll pick some tomatoes in a sec. Um, when I did a cartwheel when we were in Spain. And um, for anybody new here who doesn't know, Kate's my lovely friend, our lovely friend, and she's not here with us anymore and we miss her. So I did a did a cartwheel and Franca recorded it today and I came in and showed Toby and I just wanted to text Kate the video going, I can, still got it, four years later, still got it, but of course can't text her. So I'll put it here instead. So here you go guys, <laughs> here's me doing a cartwheel today. Much room for improvement. <laughs> Now I need to go and pick some tomatoes. And since my new incredible tripod, this is better than the other one, has turned up. I'm gonna find the other one in the greenhouse, even though I've looked there already. Um, if I remember, ow, that just walloped my boob. I just went, <laughs> I will link this below. But any of you guys who are doing vlogging, what do you think, Margs? The tripod is bigger than me, and I'm a little bit worried that if you cover it with fur, it will usurp me. Darling, nothing will usurp you. Are you sure? I'm very insecure. Juggling the plates. This is brilliant. It's got a wobbly gimbal head, and then you can lock it. Just need some music now. <gasps> We've got a Friday night playlist on, love. Friday night playlist. Come on later, don't you worry. Mm. Look everybody, Bill's back to normal. Bill's pump is back to being a pump. Are you feeling good, Bill? Yeah. Yeah. Hey! Oh, I'm not talking at any further. What? I may have said eight, but that, 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 that. Are you correcting your own grammar there, Bill? Yeah. Cool. I meant disgusting. <laughs> Are you not having this? Yeah, this YouTuber. Oh, darling. This is so funny. And Bunny's very happy because he is, she, what do I mean he? She is in a clean bed. Margot's bed is on the Arga. Just um, getting rid of the damp. Oh, look at her. Oh, little buddy.